Hi, I'm Kavish. I'm Akhil. Here we are going to give a brief discussion about the ethical audit of Hema's Holding PLC. So we are going to give an introduction about the company. Considering the Hema's Holding PLC is one of the fastest growing conglomerates, which include four leading sectors, FMCG, healthcare, transportation, as well as the ration. Will you please explain about the uh, CSR? We will talk about the economic responsibility. Yes. During this year, Hema's Holding PLC has been able to cross the revenue limit up to 50.9 billion with a growth of 17.2 percent. Talking about the group operating profit, it was recorded as 4.2 billion and the group margin is 8.3 million which is a small drop. Talking about the legal responsibility, Hema Smart Time was awarded ISO 9001 and 2015 Quality Management System Certification. Let's talk about the ethical responsibility. Hema's Abhiman program which is a program that empowers and encourages their employees and stakeholders to open up their creative ideas which they will get rewarded as well. And then we are going to talk about the philanthropic responsibility. Hema's hospital Vattal is positioned in order to obviate the need for people for suburban areas with international politics. What do you think about the policy recommendations in CSR? Yes, okay. talking about the policy recommendations, environmental and social awareness to promote a tough policy that CSR should be practiced in the present condition on environmental and social awareness. Talking about investors and stakeholders, the concerns of existing and future prospective investors as well as the issues pertaining to stakeholders should be carried forward by the group. Social investment budget, engaging in the crucial use of the social investment budget. Sustainability target. The regular monitoring of sustainability target attainment would be compulsory. And the customer service. Consumers should be served in a liable manner. And sustainable growth. The group should establish a convention that shares the best practices that help in the sustainable growth of the business. Finally, talking about the employees. To provide equal opportunities for the workers, ensuring the existence of CSR skills in all employees within the organization. Great. So Akila, what do you want to tell about uh, the corporate governance of the company? Yes, corporate governance is the framework of rules and practices by which an organization is directed, controlled and managed. KMAS also approach to corporate governance, guided by ethical culture, stewardship, accountability, independence, continuous improvements as well as the oversight of the strategy and the risk. So they have a framework like the board of directors and the stakeholders and uh, considering the wider relationship among the stakeholders and these uh, ethical values and the corporate objectives are also followed by them. So if you consider this uh, Hema's holdings, they believe that the board provides a striking leadership, guidance and values there to drive the force across the group and guiding the force to good governance. Shareholders have been invited to communicate with the company in order to collect the information and express their views on the company. What do you say yeah. about the recommendations? Yes, the recommendation considering the directors and the board leadership, every public company should be led by an effective board, which should be directed uh, lead to govern the company. Although there should be a clear separation of obligations at the head of the company to certify the stability of the power. Remuneration should establish transparent and formal procedure. And the annual report should contain the statement of the remuneration policy and the details of the remuneration board. Finally, I would say like the board should present that the balance clear assessment of the financial portion of the uh, and the performance uh, prospects of the company. So the board should establish a transparent formal accounting policies, financial reporting and internal controlling which review related party of the transactions. What do you think about how we did this thing? Do you gather some uh, information with the fit chart? And we made it like yes. start with a very detailed foundation, right? Yes. So we made in charge as well as the shareholders and the stakeholders. stakeholders we uh, gathered data from them and we try to make it like a very good framework, put it into a very good framework. We created a cross-functional so team. Information about it, yeah. Yes, what we gathered and uh, we made a create cross-functional team for them. I personally did the corporate governance part. Yeah, the so so I did us to that uh, CSR part. Correct. So we gathered data from them and then we had an uh, efficient way of the body reporting. So we gather and we find out each and every point. So then we look at the other issues, the practical 
practical issues. The way that the gathering people was a very difficult task. And considering this uh, gathering the data from HR and yes. uh, directors, board of directors, it was a very difficult task. But somehow we managed to get this stuff and we made a very uh, standard level uh, audit. Correct. Call that ethical audit report. And uh, it's happy to present it here right now. Yes, okay. Thank you.